Hi guys, welcome back to Creatively Crafted Life. This is Melanie and I have a little organization video for you today. I know it's been a while. Basically, we're going to make something to organize small embellishments. Now, in my case, I have these uh, faux stamps. Um, I purchased this off of Amazon and they are, um, they look like stamps, but they're actually stickers. And there's nothing wrong with keeping them in the original package, only I hate sorting through things. Um, I'd rather flip and see, pull, that kind of thing. I just, I'm not a huge fan of having stuff amalgamated. Um, it works for some things, but most things I'd much rather be able to have a clear visual of everything that I have so that I can make quick decisions. Kind of along the same lines as my die cut um, ephemera binder. I'll leave a link above here um, as well as in the description below if you want to check out my die cut binders. So we're playing off of that, but we're going for small embellishments. And they're ones where I don't necessarily want to apply any adhesive on the back because these are stickers. Um, so it's the adhesive is not going to stick great because it's that release paper and sometimes smaller embellishments just are a pain to put into into the binder this does take a little bit of effort to get this set up but it is reusable and um, i'm really pleased with the results so now that i've talked about all of that let me show you what we're actually talking about by the way these stamps are super cool it came with a pack of how many do you have one two, three, four, five, six, all different themes from like space to buildings to flowers, that kind of stuff. And look at the back of the paper that it came in, right? So this is like the back of the package. They're all these old postcards. How fun is that for your mixed media um, art journaling? So very cool. I will leave a link. If I haven't said that already, I will leave a link below. Okay, so let me show you what I came up with. Now, I'm using these binder cases. They were originally intended for stamps, and for a while I did keep stamps in here. Um, some stamp sets, like the ones from like the ones from Tailored Expressions, come on a plastic um, backer that fit in here. And I did that for a while, but then decided I didn't like having them separate. I liked having all my stamps in one spot. So I have a number of these, and I really do like them. I like that they're self-contained. They have a snap on them and they are a binder inside but you don't have to use this for this you can use an eight and a half by eleven binder that you have lying around or you can use one of those half binders um, would work as well the nice thing about going with a bigger size is it's going to effectively be less work and you get more storage so just something to think about so basically what i did was i just took some eight and a half by eleven paper cut it in half and i just added let me pull one out here for you to look at and then I just took some acetate that I had. A friend of mine very generously sent me a package of transparencies. And so I just trimmed these down to um, one and a half by five and a half. And then I used some double side sticky tape to adhere them. Now you can see the tape. It doesn't bother me. If it bothers you, you could sew instead, but that just seemed like way too much work. Um, and this really just doesn't bother me that much. So anyways, so they just become pockets that I can slide these embellishments in and out. If you have larger items, of course, you know, don't put as many pockets on a page. I have four rows and then I also have four rows on the back side. So these are thematic. They've kind of got a space theme to them. And so this will just go in here. I've got these ones that are like bugs, butterflies, that kind of thing. Let's see, sorry for the glare. And then I've got buildings. And then the mushrooms. Again, these are just stickers, but they look like stamps. And then um, these are animals. And then I have the package that I'm working on here, which I think are flowers. So I'm going to show you how I put these together. And I will probably end up getting... Uh, thematic binders as well as color binders. I can see me doing that and I would probably pick a different color so the pink would have a pink background etc so that when I'm looking at it you know through the case I know that that's a pink versus um, thematic I went with this blue. Now, I have a ton of eight and a half by eleven cardstock. You don't have to go super thick for this. I just have a lot left over from when I was a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. You know just buy something that's a reasonable weight that will hold up to this and 
Um, if it's white, that's fine too. Their dimensions are five and a half by eight and a half. So that's really easy. It's just half of an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. Let's pull out a piece. I'm just gonna turn it on its side. Trim at five and a half, like so. Stack them together. I measured the holes, so where the holes were for the rings. And I created a template. And I just did that with copy paper until I figured out exactly where I wanted them to be. If you have something that has a three hole system and it fits in whatever binder you're using with, you don't even need to make a template. You can just use that. Okay, we're just gonna punch holes. Okay, so that's done. Let's cut the transparency or acetate sheet. So again, it's eight and a half by 11. We're gonna trim it to five and a half. Line it up. And we wanna do it at an inch and a quarter. I found it easiest to align the acetate on the pages just by marking lines across. It just helped with lining it up. I guess is what I'm trying to say. And I found for my particular needs that two and one eighth was the best spacing. So I'm just gonna draw three lines and that'll give me four rows of pockets. And then I'm just gonna flip it over and do the exact same thing. It's not perfectly sent, like it's not perfectly symmetrical. So when you do flip this over, um, just watch which way you are orienting your paper. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay, now we just need to adhere the acetate sheets. Now I did find it helpful to work on top of something so that I could see um, where the acetate was versus on this white background. I found it very hard to align the tape. So I'm just gonna show you here what I did. So I pulled some quarter inch sticky tape. This would be like score tape, be creative tape, that kind of thing. Um, this is actually a no name uh, from Amazon and it works just fine. I don't worry about being super precise, but if that is something that bothers you, of course you can trim off the edges and make them perfect, but I think that is sufficient. So I'm just gonna put along three edges. And you can see this really doesn't take too long, all things considering. So we're just gonna peel these off. And we're just going to align that along the bottom edge for the first one. And I like to give this a good press. If you have a bone folder, that is a great tool so that this is adhered well. Take the next one. Just show you here really quick. And then it's just repeat until all of the pockets are on. Sometimes I think the hardest part is getting the release paper to release. So let me zoom you in for this. Okay, so this is where the line comes in very handy. It just makes it much easier to make sure that this is where I want it to go. Again, use your bone folder if you have it. And just like that, you have two pockets. So let me do the rest and then I will come back and show you how it works with slotting in, in my case, the stamps. Okay, so once you have all the acetate pockets on, you will need to probably repunch some holes because the acetate will cover that. I'm just gonna do that quickly. That one's okay. And then it's just a matter of adding in whatever embellishments you wanna add. Now these, uh, stamp stickers come two per and so I do like to double stack them because 
when I pull one out, then the next one will be right there anyways. So it just makes it convenient to have them right beside each other, plus they'll take up less space. I also don't mind overlapping these a little bit uh, because I can still see what the image is. But if you really want to space them out, that's your, that's your choice. And I also just try and not to overlap anything um, over the hole walls because, of course, those need to be open in order to um, be put in the binder. But you can see how if you did this as an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper, it wouldn't take you much. Actually, it probably wouldn't take you any more time and maybe even be faster because you could just use a regular 8.5 by 11 hole punch and you would get twice the amount of space. So it's something to think about if you're concerned about how much time this would take. So I'm just going to finish adding these in here. As you can see, they slide in really easily. They slide out really easily, so no, no issues there. And um, I can keep reusing these over and over for any items that, that I have. So these are obviously designed for smaller. Like I said, you could make bigger pockets. The only thing I would be hesitant is to do anything that that doesn't stick out the edge. So if I had a really tiny embellishment that's in here, I think it would be difficult to kind of pull it out. So if you do have a lot of like tinier ones, you would want to make those pockets smaller, if you get what I'm saying. Yeah, I think you would always want to have a little bit sticking out at the top, just so that it's easy to pull out, but you don't want too much sticking out because you don't want it to fall out. <laughs> so it's, it's a balance somewhere in between the two, I think. I also, in this purchase from Amazon, bought a, some washi stamp, or rather washi that looks like stamps. And I'll show you that here in a minute. Um, they're, they're cool, but these are nicer. <laughs> so if you had to make a choice between the two, I would rather go with these. These are cleaner, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And they just have that really cool postcard that goes with it. Like, how fun is it? I mean, I wish it didn't have the gloss, but you could probably cover like a matte medium over that to, to mattify it if you wanted to. Okay, so this one is done. Let me show you the washi tape. So this, it came in a package like this. There's what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rolls. And it peels off like this and you can just tear the stamp. You can see this one's got like a, a woodpecker on it. <laughs> um, you'd probably want to, you know, affix it to some cardstock or something. Like so. The only thing that I found is that, as sometimes happen with washi tape, when you peel, sometimes this uh, cut edge um, wraps around the side and um, it took a little bit to get it going. But it seems to be going okay now. Um, just something to keep in mind. So that's what it looks like on paper. Okay, so that is my tip for this week for micro organization. I did say I was going to start merging into that. Let me know if this is something that you would consider doing. I think it's going to be great. I'm easily going to be able to see what I have. I can flip through this. It's going to be organized. I will probably end up doing some of my Tim Holtz um, products like this too. Um, like I'm thinking like the paper dolls and stuff might be kind of fun. So you can just pull it out really quickly. Now, I did want, before I sign off, I did want to say this is not an original idea of mine at all. Um, you can actually buy stamp books, and that's what this is modeled off of. Um, they are actual books for, like, stamp collectors, you know, use and stuff where they can store their stamps. So that's what this is modeled after. It's just my little homemade version, and I'm very happy with this result. This will now fit on a bookshelf really easily. Um, easily accessible. I'll probably put a label on it and um, go from there. Leave a comment below if this is something you would consider doing. Would you do the same size that I'm doing or would you go bigger, be more efficient in your time? I'd love to hear what you think and until next time, happy organizing.